Today, a disturbing Twitter discovery. I was scrolling through Twitter earlier this morning, minding my own business, not looking for anything degenerate to see. Whoa, wait a minute, dummy boy! You haven't told the people about your favorite mobile and PC game of all time, Raid Shadow Legends! That's right, they're sponsoring this video. You know Raid, the game with a ton of champions, over 600 now. Every single one of those champions come from their own unique factions, each with their own history in the world of Teleria. One of the coolest factions is the High Elves. Their homeland, Aravia, has been around for thousands of years, survived the fall of the Lizardmen Empire, and helped the humans form into civilizations and defeat the orcs when they attacked the continent. My personal favorite elf is the Battle Sage. Just take a look at her here. She is incredible, she's amazing, and regularly leads my team into combat. Now there's some huge news in Raid that I want to tell you about that is massive this month. They just released a new faction, the Sylvan Watchers, with some amazing new champions. Forest Elves, Ents, Druids, and Fays, they're all here. If that's not enough, Raid's got a full lineup of events, along with a new season of the Forge Pass, where you can get your hands on some of the most powerful gear this game has ever seen. Also, if you're an Amazon Prime member, you can get exclusive rewards in Raid right now. This is the best time to get started in Raid. If you click the link in the description or scan my QR code on screen, you'll get unique bonuses worth $30 only for new players. We're talking a free epic champion, Tayrel, 200k silver, one energy refill, and one XP boost, as well as an ancient shard. So you can summon awesome champions as soon as you get into game. Your rewards will be waiting here on the main screen for a limited time only, so make sure you claim them today. Now, thank you so much to Raid Shadow Legends for sponsoring this video. Now back to the reaction. And you know what I came across? This video. First, we're gonna add in our yolk right into the eyeballs. One egg here in the mouth. And the last yolk here, so you can't forget about seasoning our ground beef. The black pepper on here. Lace chips. Yep, you Ooh. heard it. So go ahead and just put those all the way around the beef. Lightly salted ruffles. And these you can crush up a little bit smaller. And just place those all around the edges as well. All right, you can't have mashed potatoes without some light cream. Now, this is exactly where I was stunned beyond belief. So I was on Twitter scrolling, right? And I saw this video start playing. And I was like, oh, this shit is like some kind of weird, bizarre, like, uh, 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 like egg burger shit. I thought she was going to flip it, put it on a burger and call it like an egg burger. Okay, I thought that's what was happening. But the second, and I mean the second, I heard this bitch say mashed potatoes. I was like, wait, stop the video. Stop the video. Hold the phone. That's a reaction shit right there. Also, I just noticed my light's not on. I'm running a shit show. Anyway, I haven't seen the rest of this video after this point. It was right here where I paused it on Twitter, booted up the recording, and here we are. Uh, let's just see what the hell she's making because I'm sure I don't know. Also, this is from a channel called My Jane Brain. Well, let me, let me stop. Just gonna gently pour that in. What would mashed potatoes be without butter, honestly? Now Look we're at gonna... that butter. Okay, first of all, what the hell did she do to that butter stick? Uh, before she started the camera. Like, what's going on over here? That butter looks all fucked up. Dom, stop. Okay. Without butter, honestly. Now we're gonna just place these butter slices all the way around the pan. So she's making mashed potatoes in a skillet with potato chips, butter, and cream around the outside of a burger patty. This is the dumbest shit I've ever seen. Dom, just... I need some parsley. And we're just gonna For what? Take it gently around our beef. She didn't cut it up at all. Those are huge chunks of parsley. His eyes are all red, but uh, <laughs> we're just gonna go in with a little more seasoning because you don't want what? bland mashed potatoes. I like mine really garlicky, but that looks nice. All right, let's see if they're turning into mashed potatoes. What is the? What is the end goal here? Why did she not cut up the parsley? Bro, those are like the biggest chunks of parsley you could ever add into something. Like, you're literally eating half a bush if you get one of those in a bite, but I'm stunned. To be, so we're just restoring them to their natural habitat. Just to get them even thicker and creamier, we're gonna add some of this tri-blend cheese. Now we want the cheese to melt, so we're just gonna put the lid on this for a while, let it steam up. This has been in here quite a while. This is the dumbest shit wow. I've ever seen. Look at that, the eggs are perfectly cooked. Now Look at that, boo, look. it's a grease bomb with an abomination in the middle. What, Dom? Fuck. And if this is ready to be flipped, 
We're just gonna go for it. Listen to that. Oh yeah, it's ready. All right, we're going for it. Yeah. <gasps> These actually look like mashed potatoes, and you can't tell me they don't. We're just gonna guide our little- uh, She's done! She's done because it's the dumbest thing of all time. Okay, when somebody comes out and they're doing a recipe that's supposed to be gourmet and incredible, you don't throw in the line, wow! That actually does look kind of right, because that's how you know it was fucked up from the beginning. Nobody says that if it's supposed to be mashed potatoes in the end. You only say that if it's, like, by some kind of happenstance, ho hocus pocus magic bullshit, it ends up as mashed potatoes. She's fronting. This has to be fake. It's right out of the pan. That lo I'm look at so those. excited to try this. How good does this look? It doesn't Let's look good at all. That bitch out. overcooked like a motherfucker, drier than a sun bitch, and you know those oh, damn yeah. potato chips are dog shit. Dom? No, that is a burger. First, we're gonna add in- And then she called it a burger. Bo, this is, this is, this is something else. Now, I do- Oh, wow. Wait, she's gotta- Now, here's what I'm gonna back up and say. We've watched a lot of these TikTok cooking chef shits here on this reaction channel, and it seems like even if they do, like, savory, normal food shit, like we just saw with the burger and mashed potatoes, okay, come on. Anyway, they usually can still do dessert. Even if they're horrendous, horrendous, like recipes are normal. I'm sorry, even if their normal recipes are horrendous, that was harder to say than I thought, their desserts are usually pretty good. So she's got a more recent dessert video here, and I wanna see if she can manage to fuck this up too. Our extra large Reese's. Because normally they- The middle of the dish. They and don't mess up the desserts. It, you wanna place these tiny little Reese's. Because it's, just, it's way harder to mess here. up desserts, it just eats. This is a French vanilla icing. So we put this in the microwave for just a minute here. We are going to pour it. Chocolate cake mix. Now listen, I'm no expert on plastics and cancer, but I'm almost certain you're not supposed to microwave the Betty Crocker plastic tin. Okay, that's what we call carcinogen central. Into a glass mixing dish. Then we're gonna crack in three eggs. Egg number three. Then we're gonna pour in half a cup of vegetable oil and one cup and a quarter of milk. And the is magical that, ingredient. More peanut butter. More peanut butter. This recipe. So is that is that brownie mix? Everything. We're just gonna or cake mix? I don't know. It's definitely some kind of batter for grandma's sure. Grandma's chocolate cake. Or that J grandma's oil chocolate oil. cake. Okay, now do you see what I'm saying? Do you see what I'm saying? Like even though she has come up with the absolutely most bonkers, stupid, bullshit ingredients to put together, because it's all sugar. At the end of the day, this still hasn't gone awry yet. That's what that's what I'm saying. Like that's what I'm saying. They can usually pull off desserts, but not normal dishes. Although it's not done yet, so she could really pull out some bullshit. Let, let's see. So the icing is gonna sit nicely on the bottom, and this recipe would not be complete without some Reese's chippets. We're just gonna evenly distribute these across the cake. It's time for the oven, but look at this. Look wow. At this. Come look at on. the bottom. That looks oh, so goodness. good. If this okay. doesn't turn out good. I'm quitting. We're gonna pop this into the oven. You should have done quit already, Bo. You okay. should have done quit minutes. already. It's done. Let's take a look. Okay. So there's her Time concoction. Let's sky up and give it a try. Take our little icing in a bag. Cut the top. Do a nice little swirly design. Now we gotta go the other way. Okay, got got, wow. got some shaky hand syndrome there when she's doing Last that. Okay, because those least. lines are not very clean, but that's just me being toxic. Let me relax. On top. This is going to be so epic. Look, I'm just gonna glide it through. That's how you know it's a soft cake. How good. Wow. Yeah. See, that legitimately looks mm. good. That's so much peanut butter. But again, that's not that's not like by virtue of her being a good chef or being a competent cook. That's just by virtue of the fact that it's all sugar and sugar is hard to fuck up. Okay, so, oh God, but you know what's not hard to fuck up? Whatever this Three, is. Three, two. What the heck is that? Let's get our bacon onto the pan. Is this a different lady behind the- Okay, we're- Behind the cam doing nice the cooking? This grease. Oh my this grease, my Batman. They're putting the cheese, cheese on the bacon? Egg. Okay. Mixing it with eggs. And some mushrooms. So just a big omelet? This is not an omelet. Okay. Everyone, you just oh. wait. Adding a Shoo! Okay, let me relax. Covering up our bacon here, pretending to be healthy with this, some vegetables. <laughs> <laughs> Now we're gonna spice it up a little bit with some pepper. That looks spicy. It will be. After oh, you got that lady behind the camera tilting me. You know I hate that shit. We had some Frank's Red Hot. A little bit of Frank's salt. Red Hot. That was. Bit. And lastly, a tiny. That was a powder garlic. seasoning. What the hell is she Extra talking about? Extra butter. Yeah, we can't have a dry bagel. What did we say about being healthy again? <laughs> can't remember. 
flip it on over. Okay, for the record, these people don't eat that. Okay, you do not look. Like, Wait, this lady does right, right here. Yeah. I don't know if we're going to be able to get a good view of her. Or it, it did show up for, like, one pixel. Remember. Bop! Right there. Okay, you don't look like that. If you regularly eat bagels, spread with butter like that. Okay, so Flip lie again. Over. That's going to toast it on there? Absolutely. We're going to place the bagel right where our bagel is. So this is. is the dumbest shit of all time. Okay, there are very large spots. Why would you even put the bagel Three, on there? two... I'm a natural. Now we're gonna add some more cheese. Oh yeah, perfectly melted cheese. Now you're gonna take your favorite sauce. We're using sweet and smoky mustard. And now- MUSTARD! We're gonna, we're gonna fold in our egg on the sides, just like this. Now we're gonna flip our other side of the egg. And okay, so that well. bagel's burnt to a fucking crisp. One side of the bagel under here. Wow. Why would you cook it like open. that? Why would you cook it like that? Why would you cook it like that? The bagel's in the pan. Okay, underneath the omelet egg set made no sense. Okay, there was literally, listen to me, literally 0% reason why that needed to be on the underside of the pan. You could have done all of this after everything was cooked. This is dumb as fuck. That was, that, that, dumb as fuck. What is, what, what is this? We're going to take our bacon strips and Why is she putting that in the ice cube tray? Ice cube tray. Why is she and doing that? Last slice here. What's she doing? Push down the bacon. What is that? Into the holes. Why? Take some ground beef. What the heck? Put in some spices. We're gonna make a little meatball mixture here. You can't forget an egg, so it stays all together. Mix it all up. Grab about a tablespoon of our mixture. Okay, so not mixed at all, by the way. Into our. Oh wow, that's not mixed at all. That's like a ninety-five percent seasoning on the outside. Okay, now zero percent seasoning on the inside. Up. Never have to worry about pre-portioning your meatballs again after this hack. You ready to flip this After over? this hack. Oh, man. Two. You only got one shot at this. One. Okay, it's coming out. And perfect. We're going to pop this in the oven at 400 degrees for about 20 minutes. And bon voyage. Okay, now while that bakes, we're going to take some little buns. And we're just going to give them a nice slice right down the middle. Got whole wheat here to be a little healthy, you know? And brush it onto the top side of our bun. Now here's what I'm wondering. Is this uh, let me just let me just, let me just cut to the chase. Let me just cut to the chase because come on, look at that. You know, that actually doesn't here. we're just gonna place half look on horrendous. This I mean, I mean it does look horrendous, but like, just like that. I don't think that would actually be bad to eat. It just it's a little too much like I, I, I just don't get it. Like, why did we have to use the ice cube tray? Like you could have very easily just made a normal meatball, wrapped it in bacon, and put that in the stove. But for some reason we dirtied another dish. And I just, I, it just, it was just impractical. Okay, it was impractical. Now this video for some reason has, oh my God, 3.9 million views. It's really fast. So it's, it's obviously these two that are running this channel. And I just don't know. Let, let, Gosh, let me so stop. <laughs> you guys ready for this? Here we go. Our two packages of ground beef. Wait, that was, that looks stupid as fuck. Okay, first of all, look. So, so when she's flipping it really fast. You can see that there's like just loose Doritos like falling out of the bottom of this, which is like if the Doritos are loose, why would you not just sprinkle them on the bottom and then flip this shit on top? Why you gotta? Anyway. Our two packages of ground beef and just throw it on there. We're going to add some pepper and then some salt. We're gonna take two tablespoons of our chili powder. How come all of the people that be making these horrendous recipes always pretty as hell? Sprinkle that all over our beef. I guess because now those are the only people that like side. can get away. Side. With we're making this shit like this, okay? Because anybody else, I'm light yo. I mean, I'm still light yo ass up. Listen, I'm not pretty. Is that a there. thing? Is, is that a? That is that a type of discrimination or anti-discrimination? I'm not sure. All I'm saying is, you, nobody should be making shit like this. But because we're on TikTok, and if you're pretty, you can do basically anything on TikTok. That's how we get content like this. Mozzarella, and we're gonna throw the whole bag in here. We're gonna start mixing. What is that? So, so she made some kind of queso. She's pouring that queso on top of ground beef. You can take your favorite kind and pour these as our next layer. And then she's gonna pour it on top. Go back to our ground beef for the next layer. One more. For some nachos, presumably. Okay, so basically she's just making nachos. And for our next layer of Doritos. But what's got me stunned is the flip that we saw in the very beginning. This is gonna be crazy. I don't know if this is gonna fit in here. But we're gonna take our last. This is gonna be crazy. In what world is this crazy? Doritos, mix these together. Right, so basically she just made nachos. And then instead of leaving them inside of the container, like a normal person who makes nachos, we're gonna flip them for some reason, and I'm sure it's gonna look like an abomination. Try to flip it really fast, okay? Good luck. Oh my gosh, this is so heavy. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, so okay, this last step makes no sense. Okay. One, two. <laughs> 
Okay, here we go. How's it look? Oh my goodness. Dumb as fuck. Did you try it? Brr. I'm gonna take a nice meaty piece here. Let's see. Why would you flip it? Why would you flip it? Look, okay, this guy over here has got the exact correct, like, uh, thing you should be doing. The final product has to be convinced. I should just open up a bag of Doritos and pour beef and cheese inside. Absolutely. Do you know what that's called? A walking taco. Walking tacos are incredible. Okay, and if y'all have ever been to a softball game in your entire life, you probably had a walking taco, and you know what I'm talking about. This is a walking taco, but dog shit. I, I mean, listen, I'm sure it would taste fine, but, like, you had to dirty 500 dishes. It looks way worse, and I'm certain it tastes the exact same. So, so, so bizarre. Why did I just see her putting ramen inside of a... ramen noodle into the dish. Casserole dish? And Why is she doing this? one here. What is this? Let's start off with a little bit of matzo. Let's just cover the whole thing with cheddar. Matzo. You, you see how she said matzo? Like, somehow we're, like, hip and in class with, like, the young kids and shit. Are the young kids saying matzo? Who's saying that? Nobody. Stop saying that. Now. Nah. open. Scissors. That was the fakest juggle of like almost dropping something I've ever seen. Watch this again. Let's start off with a little bit of matzo. Watch, watch this Let's again. Let's just cover the whole thing. With I didn't this. need to hear Let's matzo again. Let's get these open. Okay, so look. So she's totally fine opening. It has a very like firm grasp on the packet, but then for some reason. Oh, 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 the fakest. I'm about. Sprinkle these packets all the way across. We're going to take our tomato sauce. Pour this all the way around the edges. And that... then through the center. I... And then one last so she's right So there. she's using the ramen oh, like spaghetti noodles? On mine, so I'm just going to put that all the way across. Is that? A couple more here. Is that and what's happening? And to top Is that pepperoni? Here, I'm just going to go back in with the mozzarella. All right. I like the looks of that. Okay. Okay, but why should she have to use ramen? You're going to love this. We're going to pour in some heavy cream. Place our butter slices right on top. What? Season it with some salt. What she did? Cannot forget the black pepper. Heavy cream and noodles. Cheese. Oh, it's, it's Alfredo. Because there's no such thing. As it's cheese. Alfredo. I would be banned from the Italian community if I didn't put garlic in here. Let's put them in. The is oven. she Italian? Three fifty for about twenty minutes. Slide it right in, and our little Alfredo guy right on top. Yeah. So she made. Okay, Basically, a pasta dish, but Let's use ramen instead for First some place. reason. I just cannot imagine. For the pizza haters, if you're out there. That in any world, I would prefer ramen as my noodle base to... You can't tell me this doesn't look delicious. I absolutely can't tell you that. That dog shit. Well, it was burned on the top. Now, see, this one looks fine, but that other one was, like, burned on the top. Like, there was definitely not enough bullshit to liquefy those noodles. A match made in heaven. Okay, let's take a bite. I don't really like ramen. Now, listen, maybe I'm a hater. Maybe I'm a hater and, like, that would actually be good because I guess ramen noodles are just, like, normal noodles. But ramen noodles have a very, very particular place that they should be eaten in, and that's in ramen exclusively. At least in my opinion. So the second we start using ramen noodles to do anything else, okay, make gourmet pasta dishes, make spaghetti, make chicken alfredo, and uh, no, 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 you lost me. Okay, that's fucked up. I don't want that shit. Get that away from me. And you know what else you can get away from me? The rest of this video. I'm calling this reaction to my Jane brain right here. Y'all, I saw this on Twitter. I knew we had to make a video on it. I knew we had to check it out. And it was just as disturbing as I thought. Okay, now to be fair, she did do the desserts pretty well. And outside of that first recipe, the other ones actually weren't all that catastrophic, but they kind of were. I don't know, let me know what y'all thought down below. Make sure that y'all suggest me in the comment section anything else that y'all think we should be reacting to, and I'm gonna see y'all later with another video. Love and appreciate y'all. Like my video. Goodbye!